Welcome. As a Vietnamese and Buddhist monk working as a Buddhist chaplain in many hospitals, I have witnessed many personal tragedies faced by the living and of course the very process of dying and that of death. And many of these poor people face their death with fear and misery and pain before departing this world. Psalm. Here is a system of images which I turn my perception of the universe and which may be entirely altered by a very slight change in a certain privileged image, my body. This image occupies the centre, by it all others are conditioned. At each of all its movements everything changes, as though by a turn of a kaleidoscope. Memories. Her children will now say a few words. Before I start, I'd like to share with you all my last memory of her, one that I believe completely sums her up. Of course you all know how ill she was in hospital during her final days and me and Sarah were at her bedside and Sarah said you need to get better so that you can come to ours for Christmas. Being as deaf as she was she looks up at me with such an amused expression one I'd seen many times before and said bras do you think out of everything I need bras for Christmas and so at first I didn't know whether to laugh or humour her but of course we all cracked up and she laughed and gently scolded me for laughing at her. It's the last memory I have of her, and so one that sticks in my head so vividly. Homily. She was young and inexperienced, troubled by some of these same thoughts about death. Absorbed in oneself, centre of her own universe, it starts with a significant emotional wound, which leads to one being emotionally stuck at the time of the trauma. The trauma was devastating to the point it almost killed her emotionally and bleeding is continuous. In order to survive, one creates a protective barrier that insulates them from the world of people. Technology allows for this, 